good, fam? So, um, let's just talk about it for a second. I said I was going to post this video like a week ago. Well, I ordered the chips last Tuesday, right? I'm supposed to have one to three days shipping. Three days go by, no chips. Now, like y'all, I'm surprised. I'm like, what's going on, right? 130 beans for the chips. Nowhere to make the content, right? So, I hit them up. I'm like, man, you know, what's going on? Maybe I got bamboozled. Well, they was like, you know, we're sorry. We're having some delays. Delays, huh? It would have been nice to know that when I was ordering it. But, you know, they say, hey, give us a week. It'll be there, right? So, I'm thinking a week plus the three days that they had already not delivered it in. Um, but them three days passed, and they still weren't here. But luckily, they came in today. It's Friday of the next week. Come on, cuz. So technically, what's my fault? But y'all already know what the deal is, man. I got the cheat sheet here, 10 chips. You got some Lay's, Doritos, and some Pringles, of course, the greatest brand of chips. I'm gonna try them out, let y'all know what's hidden and what ain't. All right, so just so we can have a little bit of structure, I'm gonna just go by a brand, starting with Doritos, because that's the one that I have the least amount of, and then we're gonna go to Lay's and then go to the Pringles. Disclaimer, um, when, I, when I was ordering this stuff, right, I, I wasn't really... Cause y'all know how I am, but I'm a little impatient, right? So I was reading the names of the chips, but there was like a couple of them where I didn't get to the end of the sentence. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you hear something that sound crazy, I, I didn't know, bro. I really wasn't trying to set myself up. I tried to pick stuff this time that I thought I was genuinely going to like. Because last time I was experimenting a little bit. I mean, I'm still experimenting, but like most of these flavors are somewhat identifiable to me until they got here. And now I'm like, ooh. All right, let's see what we got first, brother. Okay, these these are in another language, um, but but I can see that there's a taco one. So I'm assuming these are taco flavored Doritos. That is where they're from Japan. Taco flavored Doritos from Japan. Now, if it's anything like last time, I learned a lesson. Okay, these bags do not open up the traditional way. You got to tear it. But of course, I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, boy. That flavor jumping out the bag, cousin. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, that smell delightful. That smell delight. Taco don't even smell like that. Okay. Check out the packaging. It almost looked like that regular Dorito bag we got here in America, which really ain't got that much, you know, pizzazz, 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 pizzazz. I don't know the word, but I ain't gonna front though. They like they 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 language though. You know what I'm saying? Like the way it looked. Look stylish, bro. I like that. Please, let's start it off on a good note. something going on here yeah um yeah them bad boys taste peculiar um so i'm just kind of run y'all through what i just experienced so i i bit into it and initially it tasted somewhat like chili like like kidney beans with the meat chili right then it kind of evolved into a vegetable soup you know like that tomato soup the tomato vegetable soup. yeah so it tasted like that for a second then for like a little minute there, it kind of tasted like some buying the sausages straight out the can. Um, really wasn't digging that at all. Uh, and then there was another flavor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat another one so I can just really give y'all the full breakdown. It tastes almost like beef stew, I think, maybe. Regardless to what flavor it was, that don't taste like a taco. So, I mean, well, actually, you know, maybe it does because like... Maybe I'm tasting like the lettuce and the tomato. I'm not a fan of either one of those. So that might be why. Not really tasting the beef really at all. That's not disgusting though. Like I wouldn't, I, I definitely see people liking this chip. If, I don't know, man. It depends, maybe it's depending on how you eat your taco. Because me personally, I get my tacos with just the meat and cheese. I know I'm kind of a barbaric, but that's what I do. So, you know, maybe this do taste how a, like a taco tastes to some of y'all. And if that is the case, I, I'd say that's like probably a nine or a 10. But for me, I, mm, I I hate vegetable soup for one because I don't like vegetables. And I don't know what you're probably thinking, well, you know, you have to eat healthy if you want to live long. 
fuck I don't. No, I want to be here for a good time, not a long time, okay? I'm working on it, though. I, I eat a couple vegetables from time to time, but, but vegetables don't taste, like, good. They taste, like, alive, and I don't really care about all that. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's, I'm going to get it, like, a six. It wasn't terrible. I mean, there was moments where it was good, but it definitely didn't have a flavor I was expecting. I could, I could see me eating them still, though. Like, they're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not that bad, so... Not a bad start. All right, next we got these garlic steak flavored Doritos. I think that's that's all it is. Uh, Doritos garlic filet mignon flavor. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. What is that? <laughs> Sound fancy. Come on now. Uh, and these are from Taiwan. I don't even know where Taiwan at, bro. But the language, though, again, look fire. But this whole bag looks dope. Check them out. To be completely transparent, when I seen filet mignon, I didn't know what it was exactly i had always heard about it because i know like the the fancy people eat that like the for me you know what i'm saying like them folks they go to the restaurant and they got like the fork over here that you're supposed to use but it's also a fork over here that you could possibly use but it's the right fork to use you know what i'm saying one of them restaurants so that's what i thought of uh and maybe it ain't as fancy as i believe but i want to try it in chip form i guess because it sounded good turns out filet mignon is steak and unless i'm wrong oh yeah it said it in the name yeah so it's steak i kind of thought it was fish Maybe it was the filet of fish that I was thinking about. Y'all know about that? Give me that filet of fish. The fish was talking. I'm going I'm to get back to it. I'm going to try to open it my way again. La, 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 la. But, like, I seriously want to know, like, what do y'all be using to, 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 to close these bags up? Because this don't make no sense, fam. Like, nothing. Man. Come on. Did y'all even perforate it right, buddy? But one ain't too. I think it got me. I think it got me. I got got. I got got. I apologize for my outburst. Let's get the whip test in. did tell y'all I ain't never had filet mignon, but I, I had steak. I don't smell no steak. Did mistake maybe? Yeah, this might be a miss. This smell like a Home Depot back room. This smell like a shipping box. I don't. Okay. Uh, let me just go ahead and let me go ahead and get my palate ready for what might come. Cause Maybe it's gonna taste better than the smell. Let's let's see what's up now. Other hand. actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie you know what in my experience when a dorito release a bag a chip that's purple it be fire every time i don't know about that sweet chili yeah it's, it's banging this is this good bro it don't smell hopeful it don't smell bad but like it don't smell like it's gonna taste the way that it tastes and it tastes good so oh uh, yeah yeah that's pretty solid i might go actually try some filet mignon yeah fit me i would say that's like an eight like it's not the top of the line but it's definitely above average and then on top of that it's it's got a nice seasoning to it. Like, they didn't hold back on the seasons, but it definitely could be more flavorful. Then again, you know, I could have just ate a couple of the chips that didn't really have them coated like that. But if you look at the chip, though, like, this don't really look like it's seasoned at all, but it got flavor in it. So, it's surprisingly good. I'm definitely going to eat these. Now, we're about to get into the Lay's. And if y'all don't remember, Lay's was the ones that was doing me dirty last time. So, I'm going to give me a little palate cleanse in. Ah. <sighs> All right, so remember earlier when I was telling y'all I wasn't reading a complete sentence uh, when I got some of these ships? Yeah, this this one of them. So this, this is um, hot and sour lemon braised chicken feet. Chicken feet, yeah, yeah, braised chicken feet. So, so I had stopped reading the sentence at braised chicken. 
Not even gonna lie, I don't even know what braised means, but it sounded good. Till they said feet. I, I don't really, I've never actually had chicken feet, uh, despite how southern I am. Yeah, I've seen them in the pack at the store looking all gnarled up, you know what I'm saying? I never thought to put it in my mouth, but yeah, it's a big old chicken foot on the package. Like, check them out. I'm not going to lie to y'all and say I'm looking forward to it, but hopefully it tastes good. And I mean, who knows? Maybe if I'm surprised, I might actually try some chicken feet for real. If I could get over the fact that it's a foot. But all that aside, this packaging go hard though. It's not gonna be good. Mm mm. Mm mm. Nah, y'all, bro. If this camera came with a with a nose filter or something like, if I could get y'all to smell it through the phone, this smell like like if somebody had put some raw chicken in in a trash bag, right, and let it stay in there in the trash can for like a week, and then put it outside in the outside dumpster. You know, that like the garbage man's supposed to come pick up. And it sat outside in the heat and got that stench. I don't know if you ever smelled that stench before. That smell like sewage almost. Like that don't smell. Oh no. Oh no. That's that's it smells terrible. Maybe it's the lemon that give it that pugnant smell. I don't even know if that's the right word, but it smell pugnant. Like if I had to think of what pugnant smell like, pugnant right there. That's pug nasty, boy. I think I'm gonna need a little bit longer to gather myself because that smells like vinegar and regret, but we're gonna, we gonna get it done though because 130 beans for some chips is crazy. Lord help me. So, so I was thinking maybe we could try something different and, and, and do a criticism sandwich. Let's let's begin. Um, something positive. Okay. The the packaging, packaging, real cool. Smell like hoopla. Right? Something good. Uh, this gonna this gonna be like a double negative sandwich, but it's gonna be it's gonna be good at the end. Uh, taste like what it tastes like. This, this is what I imagine antifreeze tastes like. If, if I had ever ate antifreeze because I didn't want to be here no more, probably because I ate these chips, this is what I think the antifreeze tastes like. So, so, good packaging, smell like hoopla, tastes like antifreeze, but the packaging, though. If I'm being completely honest, if I'm comparing it to all the chips that I've tried from Bustin' Snacks together, the, the squid chips are still at the top of, like, nastiest ones I've had. Um, and then that eel-flavored one is, like, right after it. These definitely take third. I don't remember what else I had ate, but I'm, I'm I know for a fact that this, there wasn't nothing that was worse than that. This is this is terrible. This is definitely terrible. And as a matter of fact, I don't even really want to believe that people in Taiwan actually think that these taste good. I could be wrong. Maybe y'all palate just cut from a different fabric. And if it is, that's a fabric I'm never gonna wear, and that's fine. So um, these bad boys gonna go in the trash. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna let somebody else go through it. So, cause I mean, hopefully they like them, but I just don't see why anybody would. I could be wrong. Just, it ain't gonna be good to me. So, uh, I'm gonna give this like a solid. What I say? I gave the squid chips a negative two out of ten, and then I gave them. So this gonna get a zero. I feel like that's very reasonable. Maybe negative zero. Is that a thing? Yeah, negative zero. These negative zero. I'd never eat that again. Not intentionally. I definitely want to smell it again. I could probably use this 
to, to scare off a cockroach. And you know, cockroach is nasty. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to use this for some unheard of purpose, but it's going to get a job done. It's just not the one that it was supposed to. And see, I just knew that the ladies was going to come in with the nonsense because, like, even like the ones that I made recently in America, they was nasty. The flavor on the bag say one thing, tastes like a homemade science project. Like, don't make no sense to me, honestly. I'm almost not a fan of Lay's no more. Like, the regular Lay's, you can't go wrong with. The barbecue Lay's pretty nice. After that, man, y'all y'all sketchy. Y'all sketchy, fam. Palette cleans, again. Eh. Let's get back to it. Next up, we got some spiced braised beef flavored lace and, and let me make sure i can see where country these come from these come from china china chinese food is my favorite i got a whole lot of faith in y'all anytime y'all make something because y'all do it well you know what i'm saying so we're gonna see uh the packaging it looks dope as usual i don't know what this uh this little thingy is up here at the top look like it got almonds in it is that what almonds come out of i ain't never seen where almonds come from maybe that's what that is either way packaging pretty cool Hopefully this is the standard for braised food, you know, because it ain't nothing crazy like braised cow hip or nothing like that. So I think I can be a little bit hopeful. Didn't attack me when I opened it. Mm. It, it don't smell great. It, it definitely don't smell great. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I'm if I'm being completely honest, this kind of Kind of smells exactly like my dog's food. Yeah, that smells like some pedigree. That smells like some kibbles and bits. But. I'll admit, I am slowly losing faith in this chip, but we're going we gonna to get it over with. 130 beans. Y'all might not believe this, but, but this actually tastes worse than the other one. At this point, I'm just kind of curious as to what braised me because they taste almost exactly the same, but somehow the beef flavor, which I'm guessing that's what I'm tasting that's different, tastes way worse than the chicken feet. And that says something. I, I couldn't even make no criticism sandwich for this one, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, this is definitely the third worst chip that I've had. Now I'm gonna move the chicken feet down to four. Um, it's terrible. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that again. I wouldn't sniff it again. Um, if if I gave you these chips, it's probably because I didn't want to see you again. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's been a long day. <sighs> what? 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 All right. Um, this is depressing. I ain't know the chips could cause side effects, but what's wrong with these? Um, I'm gonna give those a uh a, a negative one point five. All right, they they they're not good. Um, I would not advise you to get them, but after after you know, at the end of the day, that's my opinion. If you want to do that and you just find out that I wasn't lying, then blame yourself. Another moment of transparency. Um, my my confidence is rapidly decreasing it because that was actually one of the ones that i thought was going to taste the best so i don't i don't really know what to expect going from here at, at least out of the lays but hopefully pringles gonna reel us back in but let's continue with the lays man oh brother i forgot about these all right so remember I, earlier i said didn't read full sentence right uh these are hot and spicy braised still need to know what braised mean hot and spicy braised duck tongue duck tongue didn't see that it said hot and spicy braised duck didn't see the tongue so um if i'm being completely honest if you offered me a duck tongue in real life i would probably want to fight if i'm being honest with you I, i'd be baffled at the suggestion right i would never try this under any circumstance if i'm being completely real i haven't tried any animal's tongue to be completely transparent so 
the fact that somebody thought to put this on a chip, that is that is something. I I cannot be hopeful because I have been proven wrong twice already, and it is Lay's. But look at the packaging. I, I'm starting to see a sign. If the package look too good, chip's going to be trash. Packaging look fire, though. And see, my thing is, what what made you think to even want to eat a duck tongue to begin with? You know, like, because I know, like, Daffy, Daffy Duck, he be, you know what I'm saying? So, like, maybe you want to rip his tongue guy. But what about Donald, though? What Donald do? Donald probably did do something. That's a lot of Ds. some poor decisions in my life I'm, I'm starting to believe that this right here has has worked its way into the top 10 this is not it's not smart it's not a smart investment at all this smells almost exactly like the last two braised chips so that only leads me to believe that it's going to taste at least somewhat similar to both of those and they tasted like hot garbage so actually not even hot garbage this was like like cold garbage but not like like ice cold garbage just like that garbage that was out there around by it Mm, like September 31st, but 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 like not in Texas though, because like in Texas it still be hot. The the 31st somewhere where it's supposed to be getting cold already. Like the groundhog, he 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 ain't in the ground yet, but he's starting to pack his bags. You feel me? So y'all, man, boy, boy, Man, I ain't gonna need a lot of y'all, boy. Next time I do one of these videos, I might have to drink some alcohol or something to keep me in the mood. This this is just messing me up right now, bro. This smell like flat iron crayons, bro. Like, I don't... God. What's up, man? Hey, um, you know, when I was coming up, they used to tell me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, you should be quiet. Now, what I can say is, it's actually surprisingly not worse than the other two. So it's definitely number five as far as the nastiest ones I've had. But it's only not nastier because it kind of tastes plain. It tastes like... It has that similar flavor to them, but aside from that, it literally just tastes like like the air inside of a cereal box. It's just this this tasteless, it's bland, and um that braised, I'm guessing that's what that, that flavor is. That, that whatever they did to braise it. Um that sounds like something that required uh, uh required a lot of heat. And so um I'm gonna guess that instead of given like that grilled flavor it gave it more of like whatever it is they used to do the grilling like the grate like this tastes like grate like grilled grate this with that yeah so and i don't even know what braised it maybe braised don't even require no heat or nothing like that i don't know i really i'm at a loss for words this is not good um to be honest i would i would probably take all of this packaging and and keep it for souvenirs but as far as the chips go I, i'm almost certain that if i left it outside for the raccoons to get a hold of i'd never have a raccoon problem again i'm gonna give this one just a regular zero not not a negative zero just regular zero uh, do not recommend as a matter of fact i feel like that duck lost his tone for no reason so y'all should really think about that but uh, let's carry on I can't lie, I'm stressing, boy. <laughs> I'm stressing. They they 0 for 3, fam. 0 for 3. You ain't have a decent chip in the baggie? Come on, fam. All right, man. We got the last bag of Lay's chips. These are from Canada, I'm almost certain. Let me check that out. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, they're from Canada. Uh, and the last ones, the duck tongue ones, I, I didn't say. They were from China. Uh, but yeah, these are from Canada. Don't really know nothing about Canada aside from Drake. So uh, if that's any indication, these are probably going to be uh, mid. But no, not that I'm just playing. Drake actually made, made good music at one point in time. So I ain't going to even do it like that. But... Uh, in the comment section, when I gave y'all like a little preview of what was to come, people said that these were gonna taste pretty good. So, you know, my spirits a little bit higher. Oh, shoot, boy. All right, man. Okay. Okay, that smelled kind of good. That yeah, yeah, that smell identifiable right there. That smell like stuff I'm familiar with. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this might be be decent. Come on, ladies, please, please. Don't make yourself look bad. You gotta <laughs> something gotta taste good. Okay. Let's, let's see what we talking about. There you go. There you go, boy. There you go, boy. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Cause after how you did me. After how you did me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it there. You did that, boy. What this is on here, fam. I ain't even show y'all the packaging. It really ain't all that, but boy, like it got a little bell pepper on it, you know what I'm saying? Some some onion. I think that's a some vinegar right there. But that's what that is. And uh yeah, yeah, I think that's all. These taste pretty good. I can't really tell you what they taste like, but they kind of they kind of smell like sour. Uh, that's it, sour cream. Um, it smells like salt and vinegar chips almost, but it has like another uh, flavor in it. Whatever it is, it's delightful. I like it. These are some solid chips. I I say this is about a nine out of ten. This is pretty good. I I definitely eat these. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna eat them to get the flavor of all the rest of the chips out my mouth. So we're gonna carry on later. Now we're going to finish it off with my favorite brand, Pringles. And I know they ain't going to disappoint. They better not because I've been bragging on them. All right, so I'm going to start it off with the one that I think that I'm not going to like. And I just want to give another disclaimer. I didn't know what truffles were until after I bought these. Now, um, I had heard of like the truffle chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Like you get the chocolate truffles. I thought that truffles was like some type of chocolate. Um upon further investigation i found out that truffles are mushrooms i don't like mushrooms yeah so um i i really don't think there's any chance that i'm gonna like these so i'm telling y'all that ahead of time so that way when you hear my opinion take it with a grain of salt because if you like mushrooms you might love these chips don't let me i just realized that these aren't pringles they're not pringles they're in a pringle shaped can these are lays these are lays we're, we're still Hope is lost. Okay, so I just confirmed that the rest of them are indeed Pringles. That one's not. We we gonna we gonna get it over with, bro. Cause this is so fun. So 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 let me tell y'all why they just pissed me off, right? So so I open this can up, right? And y'all see it, you know, check the can out, right? Pretty cool. I'm. I should have shook it too, because I should have known. What do y'all think the inside of this can look like? I'm going to give you two seconds to guess. You're wrong. Look at this, fam. Can y'all see that? Hey. What is this? I feel like the can was unnecessary. Y'all could have just wrapped. Y'all could have just wrapped this up in something else and then made it like clearly lays because this pringle aesthetic ain't really that wasn't cool y'all bamboozled me oh great it looks like dryer lint yeah dryer lint chips that's probably what it's gonna taste like that's just they don't really have a smell but like the smell that they do have actually don't stink what 
really is a truffle. Like, they said it's a mushroom, but I don't feel like that's a normal mushroom, man. Because... Not even gonna criticize y'all for that one because that was really my fault. I knew I didn't like mushroom. I should have did my research. Like that's that's on me. That that's on me, bro. That yeah, that's my fault. I shouldn't have never even. Me and these chips should have never even crossed paths in life. And so yeah, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the blame for that one. Definitely gonna take the blame for that one. Y'all all right, man. Y'all all right. These chips, they're not. But y'all all right though. Uh, yeah. If you if you like truffles, if you know what a truffle tastes like, maybe maybe this has some type of hope of being good. But if I'm being completely honest, this tastes like tree bark and tire tread. I'm just, this is not good. This is horrible. This is the second chip. This is the second thing, no third thing that I've ever spit out in all of my food reviews. I spit out that that squid chip because I almost threw up. Uh, I spit out that onion and the lemon that I tried in that weird videos trial. Mind you, I didn't even spit out the chocolate and hot cheese. I said chocolate and hot cheese. It's just going to discombobulate my brain. The hot chocolate and cheese, I didn't spit that out. O or the peanut butter chicken. But this, this, this goes to second on my list of nasty things. So there's now six things on there that I just would never try again. This is one of them. I will admit that this is one of the sauciest cans that I've ever seen, though. This is a nice can. Y'all bamboozled me. Ah, <laughs> ladies. Boy, if I ever see you, I'm going to lay these hands on you. But this, this nasty. So, um, and, and just so y'all know, when I do these videos, I do find somebody else to eat them and then give their opinion. That way, when I go to edit it, if they kind of have a difference of opinion, I can give y'all that in like a pause screen update but as y'all can tell that's never happened so i i'd say unless i'm just asking people to have a similar palette my my opinion usually hold a decent amount of weight so i will tell you if you like truffles you like mushrooms maybe this is what this is like to me mushrooms are nasty like this so like you know i wasn't expecting for this to be good but it, it smelled better than i thought it would so i give it points for that i gotta get this a negative a negative it's a negative something it's, it's it's whatever it's, an, it's extremely negative like i'm talking negative like the opposite side of the battery you know what i'm saying like hey the good news is we got all the lays out the way <sighs> okay now i'm really for the pringles we're gonna start it off with these fusion chutney flavored pringles i also don't know what chutney is i really can't even tell from the picture what it is, but it's some kind of spoon, what like this concoction on it, and there's some cinnamon sticks, and then more of that concoction at the bottom. That's what the can look like. Uh, Shoe, boy, where are these from? These are from India. They're from India. India. Oh, uh, okay. We gonna, mm, we we gonna see, bro, because I ain't ever really had like authentic Indian food. But we finna see, bro. We it smells. Yeah, it it smells like like Indian food. I I got the seasoning, you know. I've made uh. I recently tried making curry for the first time, and it was uh a little sweeter than the one that I had tried that my mom made, uh, and hers was banging. So I. Like, um, and, and then I made butter chicken yesterday, which is this kind of smells somewhat like it, but uh, and it, it still tasted kind of sweet. Granted, it didn't even have coconut milk in it, so I was kind of confused on how that still came out somewhat sweet. But maybe the recipes that I used were just, you know, like they weren't from people that come from the culture. So uh, we're going to see what this hitting on. Though. Come on, India. Come on, India. Represent, bro. Represent.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Y'all better do y'all thing. They food got like a real like just that the flavor that they food has. You can tell that it come from India because like they don't see they don't use the seasons that I feel like everybody else using. So like, but it just it got that culture to it. You can just taste it that it came from where they at, man. It's, I like that. That's that's good, bro. I like that blend they use on that. I don't know what chutney is, but I might need to try it out now. Cause that's pretty busting. I'm not gonna lie. Better than I expected, to be honest. Um, I give that like a. I give it like an eight point five out of ten. Like that's a pretty solid chip, bro. I definitely eat this again. I honestly probably will end up eating this whole thing. Granted, I do feel like this is gonna make my breath smell real bogus. So um, if you're gonna eat these, I would suggest uh, taking a breath mint afterwards. So maybe brushing your teeth because you don't wanna take nobody out with that that flamethrower breath. And see, this is why I brag about Pringles because they ain't gonna let your boy down. I mean, granted, they did kind of let me down with them the Philly cheese steak Pringles, but we ain't gonna bring it up again. Uh, so next we got some South African style peri peri. I don't know if I said that right. Um, and they are from Malaysia. Malaysia. I don't even know where Malaysia is. Uh, so that's that. I just want to point out that I graduated high school in 2015, and I haven't taken any kind of like geography class since. So I couldn't even tell you where every state is in America anymore. So yeah, don't be surprised. One thing I like about Pringles is how they put this little flap at the top. Because when you feeling like being greedy, you can just take the top like this here. You know what I'm saying? But you don't pull it all the way off, right? And then you just do this. And you throw this back on top, bro. And then when somebody asks for the chips, you can be like, oh, man, they ain't even open yet. Now, you got to be careful because that can be moved too quick. They're going to hear, you know what I'm saying? You can hear that. But if, if you ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like if, it's, if you're being dishonest and it's really something gone, you do like this. They're going to hear that air in the can. So, you know, you got to be like, oh, man, I ain't got none. You know, it, it ain't open yet. You know, it ain't open. You hear that? It ain't open yet. You have to be real careful with it. So, yeah. Um, this this kind of smell like used dishwater a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of does. Yeah, this this definitely smell kind of like used dishwater. It's not like completely disgusting of a smell, but it don't smell necessarily good. Or maybe my nose messed up. Hey, real quick, I y'all see my hand, bro. Look, look at my hand. Compare, you see that? You don't even see the can. Y'all got to do something about this. My hand can't fit in here, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is a brand new thing of chips, and the chips are already lower than my fingers can reach to before it get caught up on the knuckle joints. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I feel like at this point in life, bro, we should have a Pringle can that I can stick my hand into. Because why do I need to go recruit a toddler to come and get the chips out for me just so I can enjoy the chips? Or I got to like slant the can to the side like this here. And risk them crumbs from the bottom coming and baptizing me. You know what I'm saying? It's just, hey, y'all work on that, man. something um it's not the worst chip i've ever had not necessarily my cup of tea um i really can't bring like i can't really i can't really think of what this tastes like to me let me buy let me eat some more hold up hold up, hold up. let me try it again This kind of tastes like a seasoned bookmark, a spicy and seasoned bookmark. It's it's not disgusting. It's just not that great in my opinion. But it's not horrible. Like obviously I ate it twice, so um, I'm gonna give that like a four out of ten. I I don't personally care for it, but like it's not. It's seasoned. Uh, the seasonings aren't necessarily nasty. I feel like the base flavor of it is my biggest issue, which could just be the chips. Um, but seasoning wise, like it's not terrible. It does have a little spice to it. I think I think if you like, I don't I don't know what you have to like to enjoy this chip. But I like go on the side like y'all have some garlic cloves, uh, some spices, and then a bell pepper. Uh, I, don't, I don't really. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. That one you kind of, that one you kind of, kind of try for yourself. But for me, I'm gonna give it a four. And last but not least, we have some barbecue lovers pizza. Oh my fault, smoky barbecue lovers pizza, flavored lays, flavor load. I'm guessing that means they added a little extra, bro. And these are from Korea. You know, I had a professor in college uh, that was from Korea. And he actually lived in Mississippi, in America, before he moved to the college that I went to in Oklahoma. And so um, he had this real, real heavy accent. And every time he come to class, he talked. Nobody knew what he was saying except me. And I don't know if it's because <laughs> he was in Mississippi for a little bit, but I was like his favorite student because I kind of, I ain't giving him that hard time for having that heavy accent like I feel like some of the other people did. Uh, just because, you know, they couldn't really understand me half the time either. So, yeah, man, shout out to him, bro. Real cool teacher. I hope you're doing good. But we're going to see what these chips hitting on. This smell ancient. This smell like if you dip the Old Testament in seasoning, like, like not even the Old Testament, the First Testament, like the very first book, like just with the dirt and stuff still on it, but that's what that smell like. It don't necessarily smell good. It don't smell terrible though. It it smell elderly. to the side and start trying to read the ingredients boy this joint in a whole another language um it tastes it tastes odd but it's good it's good odd because i i think it's just the combination of the flavors honestly because it tastes kind of like a barbecue chip but it definitely tastes like a pizza chip like the pizza pringle if you ever had it before it honestly just tastes like they mixed the two together which i mean i guess that's the name so I never would have thought to combine the two, but like that's not bad as it smells. It don't smell delightful, but it definitely tastes pretty good. I would give that honestly like a I'd say like a eight point five. Like that's that's pretty good. I'm definitely gonna eat those. That's a pretty solid chip, bro. Way to way to end it, Pringles. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really let me down. I don't think they had the most. They got the best ratings. Yeah, yeah, Pringles. Pringles one, of course, I always knew that they was gonna do that, man. These, these, I would recommend you try these for sure. These are pretty good. Um, bussin', this is indeed a bussin' snack. Overall, I would say that was not the best experience. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and it was mo mostly Lay's fault. So you know, shout out to Doritos and Pringles. But um, also, I think I could just be very picky. You know, like maybe my palate isn't. I'm not a food critic by any means. So, you know, food critics, they got that palate where they can go and eat everything straight off the menu the way it is. Me, I'm going to take some stuff off. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that could, that's why I say take my reviews with a grain of salt because I'm very opinionated when it comes to food. And so, you might enjoy everything on this list and I think they taste like dog food. But if you want to try it, by all means. But what I am saying is, is if you do try it and it turns out that it does in fact taste like dog food, I told you. You can't say I ain't tell you. I tried to warn you, fam. I tried to save you some money. Because I heard 130 bones for any chips is crazy. If there's anything else that y'all want to see me try, man, leave it in the comments section. And I'm going to get to it, bro. You know, it's cool to try these things that I ain't used to and hopefully find new favorites. And uh, I think I found at least two that I'll start eating. Granted, I don't know if I'm going to pay all that money for it. But they're pretty good, man. So until the next review, y'all be safe. Take care of y'all selves. Until next time. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. <laughs>